Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123 and this is going to be a mega shopping haul video. Not just a normal shopping haul video, oh no, it's going to be a mega shopping haul video because I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to show you. So I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, please click like, please comment and please subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome. Okay, so let's get started. By the way, for anyone that is new to my channel, I do buy very kind of random things. Okay, very, very random. Right, so the first thing I want to show you is from the works. And uh, <laughs> this was £2. And I literally, I love this. Got a little straw, a little flower. Uh, so it is um, a coconut drinking cup goblet. There we go. And I think this is great. Like, it's so cute. And also, because it's got like the little lid... Um, it, if you go outside it covers up the drink so like I've had it before I've had a glass of drink and like an insect has just gone in the drink it's horrible and I'm like oh. um, so this covers it up perfect and it just looks really cute like seriously I mean look at that how can you not love this it, it's just great and for two pound the bargain a bargain I tell you I love the works by the way the works is just like such a great shop they do stationery they do books they do toys they do random stuff I love the works. Mm. Anyway, next up I've got some hair dye. People always say, Laura, what you know hair dye do you use? And this is it. This is the hair dye that I use. So it is uh, Schwarzkopf Live Deep Black. That's the one I use, number 99. Um, and that is the colour at the top. So the colour I really wanted to use was the blue black. But whenever I've used that in the past, it makes my head just burn. Like seriously, my scalp's like, ah! So I do not use that anymore. And I literally just use dark black like it is black this hair will go black I mean it's pretty my hair's pretty black at the moment but it will go a lot darker once I use this and also it will get rid of those greys got some grey hairs coming through um, so yeah this is the hair dye that I use I think it was about five pound or four or five pound something like that all right next up from Primark I picked up these shorts and they are this lovely grey I love this colour so grey colour and on the side you've got these like little black stripes so um, they fit really really well the material is so nice like it's so soft and it proper like holds you in as well so I'm gonna wear these for doing like exercise around the house but also I wear them in if I'm wearing a dress or a skirt like underneath because I do get a little bit as my friend calls it chub rub when your thighs kind of rub together it's very uncomfortable it's very sore and especially when it's like really hot weather and you're walking a lot because I, I do walk a lot so my thighs like ouch um so I either wear like little short leggings or these I thought would be perfect as well because they're quite short so you wouldn't see them like underneath the dress or the skirt and uh, yeah they're really nice I love the colour though I just love that grey colour and these were uh, I think like £3.50 yeah £3.50 so it's good I like Primark's workout clothing they've got some really good stuff uh, next up I've got this horror DVD from Poundland uh, me and Nathan got a well it's a blu-ray to be exact a blu-ray dvd uh, we got a horror film the other day from Poundland and it was called The Boy and it was proper freaky right seriously it was about haunted doll it was really creepy and I thought you know what while I'm in Poundland I'm gonna have a check to see what films they've got and I saw this one the bye bye man hmm. don't think it don't say it. the evil behind the most unspeakable acts has a name Ooh. so three college students stumble upon horrific origins of the bye bye man they discover that there is only one way to avoid his curse don't think it don't say it but once the bye bye man gets inside your head he takes control is there a way to survive his possession da, da, da. i do like horror now and again i like a horror film but i i have very bad anxiety so sometimes after a horror film the next few days i'll have like, like bad nightmares and stuff but apart from that i love watching horror films anyway so um from the works i picked up a book uh, so they do do lots of books in the works really great price you know um and they do have like a three for five pound like special offer but i was looking around and i just I, i'd either had the books i had or i just wasn't really interested in them so i just got the odd one and individually they are two pound each so this was two pound and i've heard so many good things about this book i'm very excited to read this book so it's by louise o'neill it's called asking for it now i read a book recently by the same author and i absolutely loved it and i've got a few other of her books actually in my bookcase to read and i saw this one i was like oh i've been wanting to read this so um it says in a small town where everyone knows everyone emma o'donovan 
is different. She is the special one, beautiful, popular, powerful, and she works hard to keep it that way until that night. Now she's an embarrassment. Now she's a slut. Now she's nothing. These pictures, um, these pictures that everyone has seen mean she can never forget. So dealing with a very kind of dark subject, but it's supposed to be a proper good read. And as I say, I think she's an amazing author. So two pound for a book, not bad. Um, talking about books, by the way, we're not, I know, this is a shopping haul, not a book related video, but I just want to quickly show you the book I'm currently reading because it needs, it needs a bit of like airtime as such. It's so good. It's Syph and it's by Neil Schusterman. It's so good. I, I just wanted to say that it's, it's amazing. I'm buddy reading this as well with adorable Lizzie Reads. Check out her channel. She's amazing. She's a fellow bookworm. She's lovely. And we're both reading this book, like buddy reading. So go check out Lizzie Reads. She's lovely. Okay, so also from the works, I picked up some stress, like, sensory toys, okay. Um, so I think I've got some in this bag, some in that bag. So if I find them, I'll just kind of show you as we go along. But this is one, and look at this. It's a stress, well, it's called a stress ball, but it should really be called a stress cube. Um, but it looks like uh, a Rubik's Cube, which I think is really pretty cool. Because I love the 80s and stuff. Look, it literally looks like a Rubik's Cube. So um, it says, ideal for stress relief, simply squeeze to relieve stress perfect executive gift addictive squashy texture it says squash it squish it smack it <laughs> and it says for ages three plus so I think because I'm 38 I think I'm old enough to play with this so it's all good um, but these are really really good for stress relief it says relieves fidgety fingers and I have very I have very fidgety fingers Ser seriously if I'm nervous I kind of do that and fidget with stuff so um, when I get like stress related toys they're really helpful for my anxiety and my stress levels um, and they're just fun to kind of squish about with um, but I'm not going to open it now and show you because I want to do a video on my other YouTube channel which is Minx Laura 123 ASMR check it out and um, so on that channel I make videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia and uh, I want to do like a whole video with all the kind of stress squishy toys that I've bought um, in this little haul that you're gonna see so that's why I'm not opening it um, but yeah it looks pretty cool right I like it okay um, da -da -da. oh this is from the works this is a little mermaid towel notebook did I need it probably not but it's so cool I love all things <laughs> mermaid most of the things I buy people say to me you know do you really need that and I'm like not really but I am yeah I have a problem I I said what it is, like, I love shopping and like I, you know, I'll go to work, I pay all my bills and all my boring stuff, you know, with my wages, and then what I'm left with, I just kind of have fun and go shopping and buy stuff I like. So like I'm not like really terrible. I don't buy like thousand pound handbags, I just buy little like random notebooks or stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I literally saw this and it's so shiny. And I will use it because I do always like write stuff down and notes and stuff and little reminders, so I just really liked it. It's all shiny. <laughs> so shiny. Um, also, I've got this pen. Oh, my God, this is adorable. Look at this. Actually, this could go with the notebook. See? See? How cute is this little mermaid? I love her face. She just looks so, like, cheeky and mischievous. And she's got pink hair. She's got a little bra, a little shell bra. And uh, she's just really pretty. I just love this pen so much. So that was from the works as well. Um, okay, I've got some unicorn hair chalks. These were from Poundland for a pound. Um, I'm not going to be using these. They are literally for my other YouTube channel. So I do buy a lot of stuff that I can use on the other channel when I'm out and about. So oh, I think one's fell out because there's one missing. Either that or there wasn't one in there. I don't know. I thought there was a pink one. Oh, here it is. I haven't lost it. There we go. So these... Um, yeah, these are unicorn hair colour chalks. So I think these have to be used on wet hair, if I remember rightly. Yeah, for more vibrant colours, wet chalks uh, before use. So, oh, so you can wet the chalks. You don't have to wet your hair. You wet the chalks, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm just literally going to use these in a video on my other channel. Okay, next up, I... <laughs> This is really like, mm, but there we go, they're in the bag, so I'm going to show you. This is a make a shopping haul, you know, I do show you what I bought. I got some of these. People shouldn't be embarrassed about talking about stuff like this, even, even though I'm embarrassed talking about it. But we shouldn't, like, do you know what I mean? Like, women get periods, fact. Women get, you know, horrible pains, time of the month, fact. 
uh, but people are like oh you know it's just a period pain I'm like no it's agony if you do not get period pain you do not understand the pain and the suffering we go through every month whenever I say that to Nathan I'm like oh babe it's so bad you know I hate you know my period and he's like I hate it too I was like well why would you hate it you don't get any period pain you're a man he's like no but I have to put of you moaning about it I'm like okay <laughs> so he kind of does get pain in a way but yeah these are from the Poundland and they are body form that's enough about them uh, okay something better now uh, these are um Poundland are doing like a whole new stationery range which i'm really excited about because i love stationery and arts and crafts and stuff like that um so these are really cute little paper clips check these out i love the rainbow the best look at that little rainbow um what will i use them for i do not know but i will use them at some point and they're just really cute and they were a pound and also in their new little range i picked up this little sequined notebook i love these with like color change look at that Ooh. rainbow silver rainbow silver yeah so i am going to use this i'm going to keep this for something very special actually that i'm going to be using on this channel i like it that way the best um but yeah i want to do i did it a while ago like youtube channel shout out so like i don't know maybe once a week or once a fortnight i want to do like shout out videos where i promote other youtube channels um so i'm going to put anyone who wants to shout out you know each time i ask for people for shout outs and that i'm going to put people's names of the channels in there so um yeah that's what it's going to be used for plus i got it because it was just really pretty and i like doing that <laughs> But I'm really happy that the Poundland have started doing like new stationary stuff. Um, and also my South End, well one of them, I don't think the other one has yet, but one of the branches in South End of Poundland, because we've got two, they've started doing clothes as well. So yeah, I'm going to be like, whoa, yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on, I have a dog tin. Um, yeah, this is, <laughs> it's got some Rizzlers and like a lighter in it. Now I'm not going to be like... No, this is just ridiculous. I'm just going to be honest and say, right, I'm, I'm not a smoker. I do not smoke anymore. I used to smoke, don't smoke anymore. I didn't buy this tin, which I'm trying to get out of the packaging, uh, for use to do with uh, cigarettes in any way. I literally got it because I like the tin. So now I've got to find something to put in the tin. I've got an idea, but look at that. It says selfies. Look at all them dogs. <laughs> it's just like cutest thing there's me as well another dog yeah i know <laughs> but um i saw it i was like oh but i think what i'm gonna do with it it's such a cute little tin i want to start doing the national lottery every week um you know if you're gonna go like a pound each because um we do like scratch cards and stuff but we don't do the lottery and i said why do we never do the lottery we could win like millions uh, probably not but you know it's, you've got to be in it to win it so i'm thinking when we start doing our lottery thing we can just put our little lottery tickets in here keep them safe look at that little tin so cute obviously i do not require the lighter or the the rizzler but there we go but i've got a good dog tin um also from poundland oh my god this is so amazing more stationery look at this notebook it's got a unicorn on it and all like sparkly bits and it's like this kind of plastic i love it it's so cute and look it's like psychedelic and just just great like just normal sort of paper there but it i yeah i was like i love that notebook i need that in my life so i got that um and i also got another notebook this is turning into like the notebook video um but look it's like this gorgeous goldy color I'm doing my ASMR tapping on it. Um, but yeah, no, it's just this lovely kind of rose gold colour. So, yeah, I, I, I probably don't need this, but I like the colouring of it. <laughs> and I'd actually seen like a rose gold coloured notebook in Smith's for like four or five pounds. And that was like a pound. I was like, mm, get that one. Um, got a new one of these from Primark. Um, the uh, Shower Puff these are great they really are they really get like everywhere do you know what i mean they're really like good because sometimes i like a sponge but other times i just prefer these because they're they're big and they're just scrunchy and anyway so yeah from primark that was a pound i picked up nathan my lovely nathan some sunglasses um so these were two pound in the men's section and they're aviators they're like this kind of silvery color to them i don't know they're probably too big on me Oh no, yeah, no, they are, look. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I've got, I got him, oh no, I've messed up my hair now. 
I got him these because he wanted some sunglasses and I was just like, he likes the aviator style one, so I thought for two quid, bargain. Also, um, I got some slime. This is um, from WH Smiths, and I hope I can open it. Oh, there we go. So this was DIY slime. Um, basically, got this little sachet, and you had to mix it with water, and then you shook it about. And um, they do like proper like sets of it in all different colours and stuff. But I thought, well, I'm not going to buy a set for like a tenner. I'd rather it, you know, we test one to see if it works. And it has kind of worked. It is quite slimy. It's pretty cool actually, and it's like this lovely pink colour. I literally love slime. I love playing with it. I, lo I love it. I love it. If you go on Instagram and look up slime, like there are so many people with accounts that just, you know, have photographs and video of slime, and I, I love a bit of slime. Ooh. So yeah, this is quite a good slime actually. I would definitely get um, another set, and they had all different colours and stuff like that. So. Yeah, but it was really cool, like, just getting a sachet and just kind of mixing it up and stuff. So, yeah, that was, like, £3 for the individual one. I love this bag. This bag is so funny. Look, bag loading. Hold on. Bag loading. <laughs> Sorry, I find that really funny. That's from Poundland. Um, and also this tote bag here. This is so beautiful. It's got lips all over it. Lipstick kisses. And it says on it somewhere, love, oh there we go, love to shop, love to shop, I definitely love to shop. Um, right, so, are you still with me, are you still awake? I hope you are. Okay, <laughs> now I've got some random things to show you now, um, it, this, is, this is random, randomer than random. I've got lots of um, worry monsters, so I've got a little baby one, this is a little key ring one, this is from the works. So basically, I saw him first, and I was like, oh, it's a baby worry monster. So if you don't know what a worry monster is, basically, you're supposed to, like, write... They're mainly for kids, I know, but there we go, I'm a big kid. You write down your worry, and you basically unzip his mouth, and you put the worry in there, and he's supposed to take away your worry. It's all a bit weird, but I, I think it's cute. And I thought it was really cute, he's all rainbow-coloured, so I got him from the works, right? £2.50. Then I go into Bargain Buyers, who um, sadly are shutting down their South End store, which I'm really gutted about because I love Bargain Buyers. And they're doing like this major sale, like they're getting rid of pretty much all their stock, okay? And I found these two. <laughs> that would be a great, great um, picture. Hold on, I'm going to try and do a screenshot picture. <laughs> anyway, I'm so weird. But yeah, I, I found these two and... Basically, the story is, I saw this one first, and I was like, oh. And they'd got reduced to, like, £3, and they were a lot more to buy normally. So I saw him, but then I saw him, and I was like, oh, what should I get? And I just thought, you know what, I can't I can't separate them, because they were, like, sitting on their own, like, next to each other. So I, I just got both. I know I'm ridiculously weird and a big kid, but they're so cool. So I thought, um, I would, it says, yeah, write down anything you're worried or scared about, and I'll eat them. So I've got two big ones and a baby one. And I'm going to use these... Oh, I've got sellotape stuck to me. Um, I'm going to use these on my ASMR channel as well because I think people really like the idea of it. I might get viewers to, like, say uh, in the comments section, you know, what their worries are, and then I make a video writing it down and then putting it in their mouth and they take away the viewers' worries, something like that. I'm very creative, you see. Um, so, yeah, they were, like, £3, and they're normally a lot more. I'm gutted about bargain by shutting down. I love that shop. Um, also, I got this from there as well. This was reduced to, I don't know, but this, I think it was like £2 or something. A lunch cooler bag. Mermaids have more fun. It's so lovely. I love the colouring of it. It's like pink and blue and kind of clouds in there as well. And it's got the word mermaids on. I love mermaids. And this is great for when me and Nathan, you know, go on the beach or if I go on my own or something and I just want a little drink or a little sandwich. So it's all insulated in there, so I keep my drink nice and cold. We've got some like ice things, like a block that my mum puts in the freezer. So she puts it in a little bag, so I could take one of them to keep the stuff cold. Um, but I couldn't resist that, because I think it's really nice. Okay, and then, yeah, I just got some more, as I said before, these squishy sensory toys, like stress toys. So um, I already showed you the Rubik Cube, and I've also got this... <laughs> 
super squishy banana. Apparently these are scented, so I'm quite interested to see what they smell of. As I say, I'm not going to open them in this video because they're going to be for the other channel and I'm going to open them in the video and stuff. Um, but yeah, super scented squishy banana. And we've got this beautiful little mermaid. Look, squishy mermaid. Squishy mermaid. And a super squishy, super scented pineapple. I love the fact that the pineapple and the banana and that have like little faces on, like fruit with faces is so cute for me. I don't know. So that's that. Um, I picked up a little unicorn key ring for £2 in Primark because why not <laughs> now i love unicorns and uh, i'm gonna put this on my key it's so funny i've got more key rings on my key ring than keys i've got like three keys and just like shit loads of key rings but um yeah so that's that i picked up also this was like reduced to 50p um this is a orange lip glaze like lip gloss kind of orangey color i got this in the sale from bargain buys because they were shutting down and it comes out orange i don't know what it looks like on probably doesn't look orange uh i also get okay. oh and i've got um i'll show you that in a second hold on i'm just seeing if this actually looks orange at least i didn't pay a lot of money for it hold on not really it just look it looks quite shiny though and glossy but just not really orangey anyway so i've got that yeah, I got this in a charity shop. This is uh, a cat phone case, and I paid a pound for it. How cute is this? So, um, yeah, it's perfect. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to use it when I go out because I've got a special phone case that protects my phone. Because I was clumsy a while ago. Dropped my phone. I had this really cool case. It had, like, a Ouija board on it. It was such a cool case, in my opinion. And anyway, it was a bit cheap, and my phone slid out, broke, blah, blah, blah. And so I basically have stuck to this phone case, which is really plain and boring, but it's like a special like protector phone case. So it stops it from like damage and stuff. So I wouldn't use this one out and about. It doesn't look very safe. But for indoor use, if I'm taking a selfie in a mirror, that's going to look great. Can you imagine it? Instagram selfie, you know, the mirror shots, you see the phone case, boom, cat. So there we go. <laughs> and it fits my phone which is perfect even though it's not for my phone i think it's for the note i've got a samsung galaxy s7 um which i'm due to upgrade soon mm -hmm. um but yeah it still fits so and the last thing i want to show you which is really boring paracetamol boots is paracetamol cat plits i oh, know they're not they're the circle ones oh no i've got the wrong ones i prefer the ones that are like the long little cat plit ones they're the circles there we go <laughs> So that's the end of the shopping haul, or the mega shopping haul. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you like the best. Um, if I had to choose something, I don't know. I like everything, really. I do love my cup, though, my little coconut cup, and my little selfies, dog selfies tin, because it's cute. I love my squishes. I needed hair dye, because grey hair's coming through. All my stationery I love. The book's supposed to be amazing, so I'm going to look forward to reading that. And, of course, my little monster friends monster friends so yeah <laughs> uh, please subscribe to my channel that'd be awesome if you did click like comment and uh, click the notification bell also as i say please go and check out my other channel minx laura 123 asmr i do as i say videos to help people with anxiety insomnia and when people watch my videos sometimes they experience a pleasant tingly sensation in their scalp I know it sounds freaking weird, but weird is good. Um, what else? What else? Oh, yeah, all the links to my social media are down below. Instagram, MinxLaura123. Twitter is at MinxLaura123. And Facebook is Minx.Laura.5. Whoo, there we go. And if you're a bookworm as well, come follow me on Goodreads. Links down below to that as well. You can see what books I've read and what books I want to read. Um, and there we go. I am going to tidy up everything because it's all around the floor. And then I'm going to do some more reading of Scythe because it is just amazing. It's so good. I've wanted to read this for a while. And I finally got around to it. And it, I'm just, yeah, I'm just loving it. Absolutely loving it. It's great. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Please subscribe. Please look please subscribe to this channel <laughs> bye